Hello guys, welcome back to the Cesarean's channel. In this tutorial, today we are going to learn about website creation, like how to create a simple website. Before creating a website, uh, there are a few questions for you and that I believe you should uh, learn first. This will help you a lot while creating a website. Here is the list of 10 questions that I have prepared for you. You can read this question. You can pause this video if you wish. And uh, if you are interested in any of these questions, then stay tuned with us because I am going to teach all these questions here. Alright guys, let's begin. So here I have prepared a file in which I have uh, 10 questions for you. So this is a file here. All right, so we do have a first question, which is what is HTML? HTML is the language by which you can write some content in your website. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. In the simple words, guys, you can say if you wish to write something in your website, then you should learn about HTML first. This is very easy to learn. All right, let's move to the second question, which is what is website? Website is just the combination of a web pages. There are a few websites uh, which is just a one page website. You don't need a multiple page for creating that website. It depends on you what kind of website do you need. Either you can create a one page website or a multiple page website. What are the web pages? Web pages are the hypertext document, a document which can be displayed in a web browser such as Firefox or Google Chrome. Web pages are the combination of a website as I already uh, mentioned this thing. See, so creating a website, you should be aware what are the web pages. So this is just a document where you can write your content. All right and these are the hypertext document make sure these are the hypertext documents okay all right let's move to the fourth question which is what is the difference between html and php html is the programming language by which you can write some content in the website while php is a programming language by which you can set some conditions in your website php is little advanced than html what are the conditions that we set in the uh, PHP that we will discuss in a later video in the other videos. At this time we are just learning the basics so we will not get into that part. So this is the basic difference between HTML and the PHP. And the fifth question that is what are the types of website? There are two types of website. First is static and the second one is dynamic guys now you must be curious what is the dynamic website and what is the static website uh, let me tell you the question number seven and the question number six is what is static website in a simple term a website in which we cannot make any changes without a developer's help we cannot do any kind of interaction with this kind of website but it is easy to create so this is what is the static website if you want a deep information about all these questions you can comment below all right so let's move to the other question which is what is dynamic website in the simple term a website in which we can make some changes without the developers help and uh, we can interact with the uh, with this type of website we can Take the example of Facebook or some other social media sites where you can log in as we are taking the example of Facebook. So you can see that you can log in in the Facebook and you can post anything in the Facebook, which means you are interacting with the Facebook. And this is what we call dynamic. And the thing uh, I told you about the dynamic website, you can't do all these things in a static website. This is the difference. All right. Okay. Let's go towards the next question, which is, is it necessary to learn HTML for a website designing? Yes, my friend, it is very important because this is a very important part of website designing. You can't skip this part. 
HTML is very basic language and it is very easy to learn. Alright, let's move to the next question which is what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. CSS is also a very important part of website designing. We use CSS file to make our website beautiful. CSS uh, file describes web browser to display the website content in a proper way. I believe you got that what is CSS. Alright, let's move to the next question. What is Notepad? Well guys, this question is not related properly to the website designing but yes, this is also a part of this. Let me tell you why it is. Where, uh, Notepad++ is a computer software to write the code for the website design. Now why this is the part of website designing? It is because, because this is very, uh, you can say, uh, this is different than a simple notepad. Because in a simple notepad, when you will be writing your code, it will be displayed in a one single color which is black. But if you will be using a notepad plus plus, this will display your code in a different different color according to the category of that code. This would be very easy when you are uh, writing a huge code. When you have to uh, write a code of somewhere around 150 lines, it will help you to find the specific character in Notepad++. But if you are using a simple Notepad, it would be very hard to find the specific uh, character or a specific word in simple Notepad. And uh, we will see the demo in the other videos how to use Notepad++ and what is a difference between Notepad and a Notepad++. So in this video, we have learned about all these questions here and this was a video all about what is the website designing and what is HTML. This was just a theoretical video. I will create a next video in which we will be doing a live practical. We will be creating a live website. So for this video, I would say I'm done with this video. So guys, uh, this was all about the website designing that I think that you should learn first before creating any website. So guys, if you like this video, if you enjoyed this video, please do like this video and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. If you want to ask anything else apart from these questions or if you think that you want to repeat me these questions again or you want to learn something uh, from me, then you can comment in the comment section and uh, share this video with your friends so that they could also learn what is website designing and how to do a website design. Alright guys, now I will meet you in my another video. So, goodbye and take care.